today we're here with Eric and Michelle, and their baby girl was born on June 25th. That must have been an exciting day for you. Yes, it was. Very much. And what name did you choose for her? Amaya Rollerin Grace. That's a beautiful name. Can you tell us how you chose that name? Well, the uh, we had a different first name, and then once we got to to really learn about our, our girl and everything, we just wanted a different and a stronger name. Uh, so we, we had Emily, but uh, it just wasn't strong for us enough. So we decided to go with Amaya, which seemed more reflective and strong. I see. So is she in the hospital now? Yes. She had to have some surgery. Is that right? Yes. So if someone is thinking that they want to adopt, what would you advise them to do? I would advise them to definitely pursue that. Um, the most important thing to remember is, is, is don't give up. I mean, a week, a month, a year, three years, it's going to happen. And as long as you stick with the process, it's going to happen, and we're, we're proof of that. Some people go in this and they go, you know, in six days I'm going to have a baby. And it's, sometimes it's not six days. Mm -hmm. So you just... You have to learn ahead of time that you might wait because that might just be the way the process goes out. And just don't go in here and think that two days later you're going to walk out. So time that's, or something. that's good advice. And if, if you were a woman who's pregnant and she's thinking about placing for adoption, what would you tell her? I would say to definitely call the agency. Um, there are counselors here that can help talk her through that decision. And um, so I would say definitely ask about it and look into it. I think it's a great, a great opportunity. So. Now you've met your birth mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. And have you met her parents? Yes. Yes. So her family is comfortable with her decision? Yes. And you have an open adoption. So what kind of communication are you going to have with her? And are you having with her? Yes. So we are currently communicating via text, phone calls, and we will do pictures and also uh, at least a visit a year, but we're pretty sure it will be more than that. Okay. Well, you've been wonderful to work with, Ed Charleston. Thank you so much.